If you can't make it this weekend for Moby Dick, if you just want to sit at home and kind of watch the snow fall, there are plenty of opportunities to do that. But Stephen, how much are we talking? We're down here in New Bedford, so I think that we're escaping a bit of the snow down here, but some folks are really looking forward to finally having a snowfall. Yeah, Ashley, we are looking at lower totals there along the coastline, especially New Bedford, thinking about one to three inches of snow there. Uh, just some, you know, mild temperatures and some of the rain and sleet will be mixing into lower lows totals at the immediate shoreline. Here's the wide view, though, of the current setup. No snow, nothing out there right now. We're dry and actually most of today will be dry. You can see we have that storm system that's tracking along the eastern seaboard, making its way up towards us as we go forward into tonight. I'm thinking snow will arrive after about seven, eight o'clock tonight and then continue during the overnight hours. But again, locally quiet, not much going on right now, and that's how it should stay for today. Threat tracker. Again, no weather concerns for today. If you're making any, you know, doing any errands or going out for any reason, traveling, things are okay during the daytime hours. This evening and tonight, snow develops, becomes heavy at times overnight into that Sunday uh, morning and looking at, again, that medium category for Sunday as well. Latest update as of this morning, winter storm warnings now posted for Northwestern Providence County. You can see that pink shaded area here. This is where we're thinking the uh, heaviest snowfall totals will be when all is said and done. Notice the purple area is the uh, winter weather advisory that includes the 95 corridor, Warwick, Providence, Fall River, Taunton down towards New Bedford and Newport as well. So we'll be seeing some accumulating snow there, but just those uh, higher totals will be to the north and west of those communities. So. Weather timeline going forward today. Clouds increase, dry overall during the daytime hours. Tonight, that snow does start a little bit sooner, thinking about 7, 8 o'clock tonight, and then continues overnight heaviest after 10 p.m. And then tomorrow morning is interesting. May actually see a little bit of a lull in the activity during the morning hours, some rain and snow showers before another batch of snow makes its way through during the latter part of the morning into the afternoon on Sunday. New Bedford Harbor behind me, of course, clouds were dry out there. It is cold, upper 20s, lower 30s. Again, maybe about one to three inches of snow there in New Bedford. A better chance of more, you know, several inches of snow for the north here in Lincoln. No snow on the ground yet, but this should be changing as we go into this time tomorrow. Here's that wide view showing the storm system to the uh, south of us across the eastern seaboard tracking its way up. We can actually put it all in the motion and time it out for you from uh, today. This right now, this is 9 a.m. Looking at the current time temperatures, certainly cold enough for snow across the eastern half of the country. As we go into the uh, northeast here, the close up view, 3 p.m. Still looking at clouds increasing 34 degrees in Providence. That snow gets very close, but doesn't really arrive until after dinner time. 8 p.m. shows that looking at, you know, that snow basically making its way into the southwestern parts of the state. Again, still cold enough, and we're going to be looking at that to continue as we go into tonight. 11 p.m., snow overspreads the area. Notice how it kind of, that first batch pushes its way through during the overnight hours. A little bit of a lull in the activity during the pre-dawn hours on Sunday. And then watch what happens as we go into the morning hours on Sunday. This is 7 a.m., still some white and blue. This is the snow. The green, of course, represents the rain. And the uh, mix is that pink. And watch what happens as we go into the daytime hours. Here's 10 a.m., that mix line making its way south and east. So again, we're gonna have a brief mix changeover and we'll see it go back to snow on the back side of the storm as it tracks its way past us and moves away from us and uh, clears it out later Sunday. So additional light accumulations expected for that second batch of snow. But I do think the bulk of the accumulating snow will occur during the overnight hours tonight. 8 p.m. Sunday, by the way, looking at the clearing conditions. Temperatures, though, look at that, 26 degrees on the back side of the storm. That means potentially a flash freeze, and that means any wet surfaces, some slush, uh, wet roadways could freeze over pretty quickly. So if you're out and about later Sunday, be mindful of that. Of course, snowfall totals, this is what we're all looking for, right? Six to nine inches of snow north and west of Providence, three to six, that 95 corridor, including Providence down to Fall River and lower totals as you go along the coastline, including New Bedford and Newport. So one more way to look at this. I want to show you guys this. It's our final weather of the morning. You can see this is a breakdown of all the cities and towns in Rhode Island, and you can see the ranges. It's alphabetical order, so you can find your location. Cumberland, six to nine inches of snow. Uh, Middletown, one to three. You can see all these here. It's a lot to look at. I understand that, but uh, we have also southeastern Massachusetts as well. And a similar story here, alphabetical order. We have all this on our website, by the way, at WPRI.com. But here's that seven-day forecast first for you. And again, things looking a little bit stormy tonight into tomorrow. And then again, as we go into the middle part of the week. So if you are traveling later on tonight or Sunday, take it slow. Give yourself extra time. We have that snow and wintry weather on the way. Guys? All right. Thank you, Steve.